in this episode episode <laughs> no that's great just leave it like that the whole episode will be a surprise now We did it. We set out to beat that task, and that is exactly what we did. We're walking through these doors, a gosh darn champion of monkey kicking. <laughs> we have the scars to prove it. All right, it's a new day and a new assignment. 30 dwarves. Okay, got any tips for me? Small but tough race of miners. Often using pickaxes, picks it. Yeah, yeah, pickaxes for this on the time. Okay, great. He's just like, you know what? I was in the bar the other day, and they drank me under the table. I needed to take my aggression out on them. I'm like, okay, cool, thanks. But this is going to be the first monster that we face so far with a drop table. So we might be able to get ourselves a weapon, which is super exciting. And anything that I get from drops, such as ore or whatnot, I can use. So, like, if they drop, like, tin and uh, copper ore, I can smelt that and make something copper. Oh my gosh, they are level 10s. They are level 10s, my friends. We're going to have to flinch the hell out of them. Why did, why did he think that I could take on this challenge? These guys are clearly going to wreck my socks. Oh no. <laughs> They're all level 10. Alright, let me do some research on this. See if there's maybe a, a softer dwarf to start with. So I did a little research on it and I found out that the level 7 dwarves out here are going to be our best bet. Also, this is not my drop. Clearly. <laughs> I have near full health. Uh, this was that... Th this maniac. Loot mucks. <laughs> this is their drop. But I can see that they drop bronze bars, so we might be able to get ourselves a little upgrade at the end of this. Alright, I need to switch to a different world. They're, <laughs> they are slaying and spraying all over the place here. Now we just need to find a nice soft level 7. This music is getting into my brain. Oh, I would love to be using that right about now. <laughs> Any armor is better than no armor. That is not a dwarf. That looks like something that can easily destroy me. Oh, there's a dwarf right here. Level 7. They do exist. Hello, friend. <laughs> Let's get into a kicking contest. Well, the unfortunate thing I'm seeing with him is that he does not carry a pickaxe. He carries a wrench. He also carries a deep hatred for humans. Jesus moly. We're going to die. Ah, run! Fly, you fool! Whoa! I can use this guy as a flinching spot. Oh no, I can't talk to him. <laughs> Hopefully this, uh, this works out here. Oh no! Ah, he caught wise! Well, this is all kinds of not good. Hmm. We may have to rethink our strategy again. So, just about the only way... Let me turn the music off for this, because this area fucking sounds like garbage. So, I'll attack the dwarf, and immediately walk back to this spot. Count 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000, 5, 1,000 kick him again and walk back to the spot so because we're I'm basically behind cover here I can keep attacking and because my attack speed is faster than their retaliation speed as long as I quickly walk back to this tile I can attack them without them having hit me having a chance to hit me rather so this is the only way I can see fighting any enemy and I feel like we're going to be using this tactic a lot, as we have no food, we have no weapons, we have no armor, we have no hope. <laughs> but I'm going to do it. Somehow. Some way. I'm going to do this. Yeah. 
Yeah, this lady dressed like a Halloween decoration came and kicked me to death. It was uncanny. Merry Christmas. But you know what? If I'm able to flinch that guy, I might as well just go after a level 10 since they seem to have a pickaxe. I don't know. It's probably a bad idea, but it's the only idea I've got right now for upgrading our gear that we desperately need. You know what they say? The biggest consequences take the biggest wills or something. I don't know. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, this is going to be a little difficult. If I could just get him on the side over here. Step down here, would you? Perfect. All right, now I got him within flinching range, just like I did for that other guy. Perfect. I'll see you in an hour when I get this guy down. I just want you to know how absolutely long this is. Ah! Ah! I got a strength level and it stopped me from walking. So here, let's do a montage. Oops, I messed that one up because I was talking. So let's do a montage of how long it will take to kick this guy to death. Ready? Here we go. No! I thought he was dead! Oh shoot, we got him! And we got an iron bar! Oh no! That's like... Yeah, we need f freaking 15 smithing to do anything with that. Oh no! <laughs> That took, like, longer than five minutes to do that one dwarf. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, here we go for another one. Is this it? Is this going to be the one? Nope. <laughs> I started recording when his health was really low, so I could get it on camera, whatever he drops. But nope, <laughs> we're just going to start zeroing again, and then he'll regen some health. All right. All right, I'll see you in like 12 hours when this happens. <laughs> yes, got him. Ooh, a bronze bar. Yes. Let's go, dude. Okay. So, with a bronze bar, I can actually get an upgrade. Let me see. If, I, if a hammer is on the dwarf drop table, I might just keep trying to get a hammer from them. Aw, oh, how epic would that be if we got a hammer from the dwarf? Okay, I'm into that. Okay, I'm into that. We are going to try to get a hammer during this dwarf task. If we don't, I would say we could buy one from the store with the money that we've made. Whoa, check this out. I got another one of these random event strange plants. That's pretty neat. I remember back in the day these would turn into like a, like a monster that could like poison you if you don't pick the pick the fruit in time. That was a dangerous time to be living, that 2007 scape. Okay, well, I just missed the Slayer level because I just decided to go for it at the end there. I lost a little bit of health, but hey, we got a Strength level and a Slayer level and some beautiful coins. Okay, we're almost done with the next dwarf. It only took like half an hour because I was also editing the video at the same time. Just, oh, come on, just one more hit. Why does this always happen when I start recording that it takes like way longer? No! Okay, let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. We can do it. You only need to do... T oh, now 2 HP. Come on! <laughs> Come on! Yes! Yes! Okay, awesome. Oh, and we get nothing. You get nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! 25 more dwarves to go. So I decided to go back topside and try my luck out on these level 7 dwarves to see if I can get any drops. Oh, shoot! So that's exciting. I'm gonna switch back to attack accuracy, because man, I need every bit I can get right now. Oh, I got him! <gasps> the upgrade! The upgrade of a century, bro! A bronze medium helmet. Oh, our awesome hair goes away but look at these look at these defense bonuses from absolute zero to almost still zero but it's something it's finally something we finally got an upgrade oh my gosh I feel so good I want to 
attack the not that guy. How about this guy right here? <laughs> that is awesome. Look at all this. Look at all this damage I'm not taking right now. <laughs> it's it's still pretty abysmal. I'm I'm still gonna be destroyed by even the most basic of enemies, but it'll help. Anything is better than nothing at this point. And I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to lose my brand new helmet. Oh, man. Alright, back to flinching. <laughs> here we go. It's almost time for more dwarf loot. Oh, yes. Here we go. Coins. I'll always take coins. Thank you very much, Mr. Dwarf. There it is. One more dwarf down. <gasps> and another bronze bar. Very nice. We're getting there. Where are we getting? No idea. But we're getting there. This is a classic wilderness trick. Stand under somebody to try and get them to attack you. For shame, level 11 dwarf. Also, uh, since this guy kind of spawns over in this area, I was trying to see if I could flinch using one of these trees, and sure enough, I can. So, I've been doing that. See, look, he's trying to skull trick me again. <laughs> this guy's got mad player strats for a dwarf. Alright, you know what? I got full health. Let's just go for it. Put on the epicfightmusic.com. As the camera spins around in an epic wide shot. Oh, no, I'm going to be sick. Oh, we're bringing the camera back in. Oh, I'm getting hit with a wrench. He's getting hit with my two damage fists. Here we go. Nothing. Great. Ah, oh, well. You win some, you lose some. And in my case, you lose a lot of some. Alright, it's another battle to the death. The battle of attrition. And he is certainly winning. <laughs> in fact, um... I might just uh, chicken out of this battle to the death right now, because, uh... I don't want to die! <laughs> Back to the safety of the door. Ah! Okay, it's okay. We're fine. We're fine. Everybody's fine. Everything's fine. Alright, here we go. Another dwarf coming in! What do we get? Coins! Nothing wrong with some coins. So I decided to take on one of these level 10 guards here. Since they look, you know, like they've got some stuff. This warhammer, maybe some armor. Who knows? If I can take them out. It has been quite longer than the other two dwarves I've tried to take down, but hopefully once I do, we'll get something good out of it. You know what they say, good thing comes to those who wait, and I've been waiting so long from this flinching. You know what? Let's just try and take him out. Okay, never mind, we got it. Oh, good. Nothing. <laughs> My favorite drop. Whew. I decided to stop being stupid and looked it up, and apparently the only thing on this guard's drop table is bones. So, that was a good waste of time. Oh, what's up, Dick Turpentine? Give me some cool stuff. <gasps> Whoa! <laughs> That's more money than I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, I mean her entire life, but you know what I mean. That's like enough for something, I'm sure. Going mano a mano. I meant to record the attack level, but it popped up so fast I couldn't grab it. That's okay, at least you can see it in the chat box. Oh shoot, he went down like super fast. And we got another helmet. What do you know about that? All right, here we go. This is the last hit. Let's hope we get something good. Also, I pulled up the loot tracker because I forgot before. Oops. No! Oh, oh, I messed it up. Oh, I messed it up real bad. Oh, I messed it up. I messed... Ah! Oh, man. That could have gone very poorly. That's okay. We'll just switch spots. So now he'll be inside and I'll be outside. I just need three HP because his max hit is two. Got him. Got him. All right. Not even close, baby. Welly, 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 well. Another Slayer level, which means we can kill Crawling Hands at last. I mean, it wasn't that long, but, you know, at last. Also, we got some Copper Ore. Now all we need is a Tin Ore drop, and we can make our own bar. All right, I went back to the level 10 Dwarves to try and see if I can get an upgrade. Just, just any pickaxe will do. Just any sort of weapon I will take at this point. Or a hammer, so I can make a dagger. <sighs> Come on, there we go. 
And there it is. There's the upgrade we were looking for. Ooh, and a nice prayer level coming in hot. I switched back to strength so I can try and get another max hit, because boy, doing two damage just certainly isn't doing it for me. But look at this! Plus five to strength. I have never been so happy to see a bronze pickaxe in my entire life. This account is doing weird things to me. Let's see if we can just dumpster this dwarf now that we have a proper weapon. Nope. <laughs> it's still just as hard. But it should make it easier in the long run. We have a weapon. That's amazing. And yes, I would use the word amazing. Because we went from absolute nothing to two bronze things in the same day. And I'm going to have to flinch this guy. <laughs> I was trying to be all inspirational, but I'm still exactly what era as I was. <sighs> Some things never change, do they? I got dumpstered by a level 7 dwarf. <laughs> oh my gosh, and there it is. The Hammer of Destiny. Gotten from a dwarf. Drop. Let's go ahead and go downstairs and enjoy the spoils. Alright, here we are. We can make an axe. And we can make a dagger. I'll make one of each. Oh, beautiful. Ah, stop! <laughs> She's about to start making everything into an axe. Whoops. Here, we'll just make one. One dagger. Or let's just try attacking with it, see what happens. Can't hit as hard, but we could hit faster. Whoa, being able to attack way faster is way better. Unless they're regenerating health <laughs> faster than I can damage them. Oh no, I can't take many more hits. Come on! Come on! Ah, okay, we got a bail. It stinks. I'm keeping tabs on you, though, dwarf. As soon as I'm out of your aggro range, I'm gonna come in for another stab. Hiya! <laughs> and then bail. <laughs> and stab! And then bail. <laughs> Whoa! No! Not the rat! No, please! Not like this! No! Well, I got some extra experience. Don't I just feel good about myself? Another dwarf down. Another slayer level in the bag. Very nice. And another hammer. Just in case, you know, I misplaced the first one. Like, I don't know, if something crazy happened, oh, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm too, I'm too scared to lose it, even if I do have two. Ah, okay, we're finally done. I was kind of spacing out, so I missed the end of the test. But hey, who cares? We've been at dwarves for what feels like years, so time to go get a new task. Whoa, hold the phone. Hold everything. I can go perform in a mime show. Yeah, I'd love to do a mime show. Whoa! Wow, you got a full house there. Uh. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. That is the classic RuneScape dance. You getting a kick out of this, you freaks? Wait, do we just have modern day spotlights and an exit sign? <laughs> this place is awesome. Oh, uh, glass wall, I think? I wasn't really paying attention. I was too distracted by the spotlights. I can now use the glass box emote. <laughs> Thank you, mysterious old man. Well, that was worth two minutes of my time. Okay, hey, Tori, I'm back. Give me a new assignment. 44 zombies? That's such a huge amount. Zombies are undead, so magic is your best bet against them. Oh, yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, is it? There's even a spell specifically for fighting the undead that you don't have because your magic level is one. 